Fulham have completed the signing of uh, right back Kenny Tete from Lyon and um, in some ways it's difficult at this stage to say whether or not it's a good deal. Um, Tete came into Lyon from, from Ajax with a very high pedigree. Obviously any youth coming from Ajax kind of automatically comes with a good pedigree because they've, they've got such a good reputation for, for bringing through youth. He's already a Dutch international um, and you know, was, was a really exciting signing when, when he joined Lyon. Um, he started well. He showed his versatility. He can, although he's predominantly a right back, he can effectively play all the way across the defensive line, which obviously is is pretty useful. Um, unlike most modern right backs, he's he's probably stronger defensively than going forward. Um, but over the three years or so he's been at Lyon, he he just hasn't really um, not he hasn't settled, but he hasn't made to hasn't made the sort of starting place his own. Um, and I think it's because he can do everything quite well, but he just hasn't sort of developed into that kind of standout fullback that um, a top club aspiring for European places needs. Um, so he can defend well. He's not the fastest, but he's, he's decent at, at sort of supporting the attack he combines very well with whoever he's got in front of him on the right flank he's got a decent cross on him but just none of those things are necessarily top level or sort of um, demonstrated consistently and well enough to to make that right back spot his own so you know while he's been there Raphael has kind of been preferred over him at times and then Dubois came in and has really been been the, the first choice right back since he's been in. Um, so he's just struggled to to kind of impose himself. And he's had consistently a decent number of appearances, but probably too many of them have been as substitutes. Um, you know, even during the, the sort of successful Champions League run um, this this past summer, he, he made appearances, but they were all kind of cameo appearances as, as Lyon looked to sort of close up shop and and protect a lead. And even this summer, Raphael's gone, Kalulu's gone, um, Marcel on the other side has gone. And so even then you'd have thought, well, maybe this is Tete's time. And the fact that the Lyon have been willing to to sell him probably says a lot about frustrations on on both sides that um, he hasn't sort of come on as much as everyone hoped. So I think it's, it's probably a good move for Fulham, three and a half million in um, these days is, is, you know, probably fair to say it's peanuts for an international, you know, a Netherlands international. So one, one of the uh, kind of leading European uh, nations. Um, and so, I mean, it's not right to say it's a free hit, but, you know, he's certainly an excellent squad player to have. If things go well, then it, it would be great for, for him to, to make a first team place his own at Fulham. But um, even if not, um, you know, for, for a team that's that's going to presumably their, their target this year is to is to stay up. Um, he's, you know, his experience, just as he's kind of hitting the peak of his career in theory, and the fact that he's still got a lot to prove and will want to kind of prove a few people in France wrong. Um, I think that's got to stand him in good stead and and sort of hopefully Fulham will benefit from that but um yeah I think overall it's probably fair to say his time at Lyon was a little bit disappointing and and it's I think it's one of those ones where it's probably a good move for all three parties involved